Hey, Tyler. Mike Barber from the Richmond Times-Dispatch. You heard me ask Coach, but what is your responsibility as a returning quarterback to help a new coaching staff kind of get established with the program? Yeah, for me, I would just say leading the team, uh, making sure everyone's doing what they got to do. You know, um, leadership is a big thing, uh, especially for my position. Um, it's all about impacting guys and making sure they got to do what they got to do. So um, it's all about leadership. We're going to get the microphone still on the right side about midway in the block. Hey, Tyler. Uh, Miles Williams of the three point conversion. How fun is it for you going to be working with new coordinator Josh Gaddis? And as a quarterback, how difficult is it to understand a new system? Yeah, I love Coach Gaddis. You know, he's, he's bringing a lot of things that we never had last year. You know, coming from a lot of the RPOs we ran last year, we're doing a lot more uh, play action, uh, full field read pass concepts. And I'm, I'm really excited for it. Um, he likes to, um, you know, utilize the talent we have, you know, the running backs and, and the, the tight ends to the best ability. So I'm, I'm really excited for that and uh, can't wait for it. To your left in the front row right in front of you, Tyler. Tyler, Dan Tortora, wakeupcalldt.com. You ended last season, the last four games of the regular season, with over 300 yards passing and three touchdowns in each of those games in a season where you didn't expect to necessarily be out there as early as you were. So what can you say about what was clicking at the end of last year, and how do you build on that? You know, I was before the season, I was prepared like I was a starter, always watching extra film, always doing what I had to do um, in case the opportunity came. So, you know, I think the biggest thing is confidence. You can't play football or especially quarterback without confidence. So, you know, that was the biggest thing for me. And I had my team, uh, they had my back. And, you know, we just rallied behind the entire team. Tyler, to your right, almost to the far right, gentleman just now standing. Tyler, uh, Ira Schofield with Warchant.com. When you got on the field last season, I think a lot of people were wondering why you hadn't been on the field before. Did, did something click for you once you got in the games? Were you, were you playing at that level in practices as well? Or did once you got the opportunity, did, did, you, did your play raise to another level? Yeah, I would say I, I improved a lot last year over the year. Um, I mean, like I said before, it's all about confidence and um, understanding your capabilities and you know, the team had my back, and I mean, I thought I was practicing well, but um, I feel like when I, when I got on that field and, and got that confidence from my teammates and, and my coaches, you know, that was the biggest thing for me that changed throughout the season. Back to your left in the third row. Bob Holiday, WRL.com. The great Miami teams to the past had great run-pass balance. Last year, you guys were 12th in rushing. Um, do you feel like you can run the ball better this year, or does it matter? Yeah, we'll definitely run the ball better this year. I mean, Coach Cristobal did a great job of getting a couple offensive linemen here and really emphasizing toughness and physicality. You know, I mean, at the end of the last season, we really had one or two guys that could run the ball, you know. And, and now we brought in another guy, um, a freshman, and uh, we got Don Cheney back. You know, everyone knows Rooster. So I'm excited what the run game is going to be like. Uh, Coach Gaddis um, brought in a lot of gap schemes, um, you know, all that stuff. So. Uh, I'm really excited um, to really balance the, the run pass game out. Tyler to the right, dead center of the block. I'm Katrina Saka with uh, Sports and Culture Media. You are a redshirt sophomore with obvious high draft potential. It's, so it's obviously hard not to look for it and anticipate what you have for not only this season but your future. How much thought have you put into your future just you know beyond this th season? I mean, honestly, I really don't think about all that. You know, I just – trying to focus on the team and winning because without player success, you have to have team success. So um, as you can see, see last year, when we were 7-5, of five, we only had one guy drafted. So, I mean, it, you have to have the team success to have uh, player success. Tyler, your last question comes from the podium. Off the field, what will you do to help your coach establish his program? You, get your you know, I'll just say being a leader, um, getting those guys uh, to rally and everyone become a leader. You know, he always emphasizes discipline and, and doing the right things off the field. How you do anything is how you do everything, like you said. So whether that's showing up for class or uh, showing up on time for community service, you know, it's, you got to do all the details right and, um, and then everything will come.